This is about the area where I found a cowbell. So evidently they must have had cattle. Well, got another bite. Got something big there. that is probably just some big trash but we're gonna find out Laying right on top of the mound, like that. Just under the leaves. An old belt buckle or something off for a horse's saddle or bridle or don't know. But it's not that bad a shape either. Well, it says there's more than that here. Let's see. No. Yeah, it says there's something else there. We're going to find out. Thought it was something showing something different. Oh well, that's weird. That wasn't laying under the ground very far at all. Didn't even really have to dig. Just under them big pile of leaves. But it was old. So we're gonna carry on. to grid this off, go back, go what I can reach side to side, go down and then come back. Because we don't have missing too many areas. Uh-oh. We got a bite right here.
right next to this big down tree here. You can see a big old tree. That tree probably 150 years old before it died. Go back to discrimination mode. <laughs> there it is. I started to say you sometimes you go discrimination mode, but just pure trash sometimes you won't pick it up. But it'll sure pick up nails. I wish it wouldn't pick him up, but it does. I couldn't haul the nails I picked up out of this woods. See what we got here. Sometimes it's so deep that this pointer is cheapo anyway. Won't uh, won't pick them up till you get so close. Find it again. That under that big root. Well, we already four inches deep. Out of the hole. Yep, it's out of the hole somewhere. dug holes like this and then find a piece of barbed bar or a nail drove down in the ground old square nails
and whatever that is. Don't know. It's a funny shaped piece of lead. See if there's anything else here. That was it. So, you gotta excuse my fumble fingers on this camera. So it looks just like a. I don't know. Like it broke off of something, but I can't tell what it is. Don't it ain't kind of shaped like a bullet. It's all blown. You know, I got to thinking about that buckle I found earlier. That could have been the belt that held the cowbell on that cow or whatever was in these woods at that time and that's why I found the cowbell so it's kind of it was kind of within the same close area there because that's probably how he lost his cowbell the belt probably broke and that was just laying there and rotted so we make sure there's nothing else left here in this hole that was it now these things, this uh, tech, Technetics uh, Delta 4000, it picks up pretty good. I believe I'd go down to 10 or 11 inches with it, and after that, it, you probably have to put earphones on and get real sensitive, just get a faint sound. But it does pretty good for what it's made for. So. We're going to carry on. Thanks. All right, guys, we up here in a little bit different part of the woods here. It is so rocky here. There's some rocks here that's 15 foot high. Of course, this is why they made that song Rocky Top, I guess. This is sure does it. But anyway, we work around these rocks. This is a little section that I probably bypass because of some of the rocks. Uh -oh. We've got another bite. Switch modes here. That says five cents. 80, 90% of the time, that's a shotgun shell. So, let me get down here and get over here. Right on the side of this hill. Dig out some of my toes. See what we got here. Got something right there. Now, guys, you gotta forgive me on this holding this phone. I might have my finger in it or get off the thing because let's try to dig and hold. I don't have fancy equipment. I just got a metal detector, something to dig with, and a cell phone. So, trying to keep it simple.
So it's moved on us. Probably a bullet. <clears throat> nope. Right there it is. Laying right there. Shotgun shell. Looks like a 12 gauge. <clears throat> See if I can just clean some of this off lightly. It's pretty good shape too. If you can get this thing to focus and that wind and all that, it wants to. working on it. Don't seem like it wants to focus today in all this wind. Mud. like it's going to focus but I'll tell you what it says it says a western 12 gauge expert so that one's probably 60 years old or 70 or better I have to look it up but I, I found some of them but you can see the area I'm in it ain't a thicket but it ain't far from it people I think we'll probably wrap it up here so thank you for watching and uh, kind of forgive me on this shaky camera out of focus stuff so talk to you later bye